Hello, this is Ares Katz, CEO of Lucena Research, and today I'm going to walk you through several functions of our cloud-based research platform called Quandesk. When you log on to Quandesk, you will be presented with a similar screen that you see here right now. On the left side, you have portfolios, you have indexes and watch lists, and then you can select which one you want to work with. And of course, you have a whole variety of machine learning functions and investment decision functions you can apply to any of these portfolios. For example, we can go and uh, forecast our assets. You can optimize our assets in the portfolio, find hedge positions for a given portfolio, do a replication function, event study, and backtest simulation. We have a whole variety of functions here. I'm going to touch only on the most essential introductory functionality just to get you going. Let's go ahead and create our first portfolio. You can see I already made one <clears throat> prior called uh, my first portfolio. Let's make a new one just so we can get going. So clicking on the new in the portfolio menu option, give us the option to enter a portfolio name. Let's call it my first portfolio one. Uh, and then you go through a step-by-step -step process. We can connect the portfolio to a brokerage account or continue without a brokerage account. Let's pick up that option. Uh, fund the portfolio with a million dollars. And then you can enter symbols manually one by one, or you can actually um, create uh, a portfolio based on the forecaster choosing for us the top 10 positions projected to move higher with the highest confidence, and then of course equally weight them for us. Let's go ahead and choose that option. We have a summary screen, and then off we go. The machine goes ahead and creates a brand new portfolio for us with the 10 positions equally weighted. Okay, the question now that should be asked is, is that the best way to weight your portfolio? And probably the answer is no. Let's go and select the optimizer to help us optimize the allocation of the portfolio more effectively. So the optimizer take a risk profile and properly allocate or recommends the allocations based on that risk profile. Let's continue with the wizard, choose our portfolio, and then select the risk level that we want to take, anything from conservative to aggressive. Let's pick up moderate risk. We can actually choose, uh, are we looking for a long portfolio, short portfolio, or a long short combination? Let's stay long on this particular um, instance. And then you can choose the min-max allocation for each position. And off we go, we're done. And then the summary screen shows us what we've selected. And if we agree with those guidelines, we go ahead and ask the machine to f optimize the allocations for us. So what you see here is the results of the allocations. You can see here the before optimization, everything is equally weighted 10%. And you can see here a recommended different allocation, anything from almost 1% to about 22.5% in some of those positions, you can see here the visual um, aspect of the before and after. We're using a mean variance optimization. It's a Nobel Prize winning approach to optimizing a portfolio. And you can see here in blue, the portfolio as it currently stands. And the orange is if we were to optimize the portfolio about a month ago. And of course, this cone represents the projected moving forward into the future if we were to optimize today. You can see here the before and after sharp and volatility, and of course, the look back return for the um, optimization period. Um, also, you can see here a risk return um, scatter chart, which is uh, the efficient frontier if you uh, want to get more scientific. But that's pretty much it. This is how the optimizer works. And uh, also, we are presented with transactions that will take us from our current portfolio to the recommended portfolio. You can see here the before and after, and uh, off we go. We can actually apply these transactions and save the optimized results to the portfolio. Of course, it's all simulation, so no transactions really are taken into account because we don't have any brokerage account associated with this portfolio. But if we had, it would have been very easy to see how these transactions really apply on a live portfolio. Okay. The next question is, um, 
is that enough to really diversify our portfolio? And the answer is probably we can do one more thing and uh, we can actually apply some hedging on the portfolio. And here it is, our hedge wizard in action. We can say, let's ad find additional securities to add to the portfolio that will give us even a higher level of diversification, but also uh, projected uh, risk adjusted returns. So here's how the hedger works again, step by step, choosing our portfolio. And again, associating some risk level. Are we looking for minimizing volatility, preserving return, or blend of these two extreme um, options? Let's use uh, the preserve return. And uh, this time, we will choose a long-short combination to allow some short positions to be added to the portfolio, again, to maximize its return and reduce its volatility. Uh, we can choose the whitelist, which is the selection of where these positions are going to be added to the portfolio from. We have the S&P 500 by default. We can change it to anything we want. And then we can choose how many positions do we want to apply to the portfolio. And of course, pressing the hedge button would take us all the way through creating the portfolio with the hedged positions. And you can see here it takes a little time and uh, the machine comes back with the following results. You can see, again, this is the portfolio as it is now. There are no hedge positions. And these are the additional hedge allocations that the machine identified to add to the portfolio in order to maximize its sharp and lower its volatility. You can see here that before and after, this is a one year kind of look back or year to date uh, look back from January 18th all the way to today and you can see the cone represents the projected maximum return you can see also the cone is much narrower which identifies a lower volatility for the portfolio again these are the actual um, hedge positions that we claim to add to the portfolio and of course the previous positions are still intact so i'm going to save the results by the way there is also the transactions that would take you from where you are now to where you need to be. Again, saving the transactions would give us a complete hedge portfolio that has been optimized prior to that. And off we go. We have now a portfolio with 20 positions, um, actually 30 positions, 20 are in the hedge and 10 are in the core portfolio that are completely available for monitoring over time.